and I'm live. Welcome back to the Shady Harbour with me, Little Fox. Sorry if I'm a bit distracted this morning. Um, I fucking teared up. Um, I'm halfway through uh, Super Eye Patch Wolf's uh, newest uh, video just uploaded. I recommend you have a look. It's yeah, it's good. It'd be good. Um. Yeah, a, char a character smoked a cigarette and I cried. Well, he was talking about that anyway. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I guess I need to go back and watch some anime now. Gosh, it's been so long since I've watched anime, but, uh, Chainsaw Man, apparently, is amazing, so. And it subverts, it subverts the, um,. Shonen genre, which is always good. I love some versions of sh Shonen um, anime. Like Hunter x Hunter. Mm -hmm. Yay! New life! Breeders made. Alright, 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 alright. Let's figure out how to do this shit. I don't know how any of this works. We're gonna work it out together. Come with me now on a journey through Tamriel to the world of the Shady Spiral or Shady Harbor I guess I don't call it the Shady Spiral anymore because the the, the awkward uh, connotations of abbreviating that Ew. the Shady Harbor with me little fox and you waiting with me for this Motherfucker to load. Now I'm wondering whether I should put the game chat on the right hand corner or not. Whether but that'll get in the way of shit, so I don't know. Who knows? Alright, so enough of this spelunking bullshit. Um I am going to Travel there now, and we can start this questing. I'm excited. <sighs> this is going to be my one little bit of uh, happiness for the day before I have to. <sighs> I have like five or six people I need to call and figure out because yeah my um, real estate agent the my old uh, real estate agents want us to pay three hundred dollars on top of taking the entire bond so yeah um, tell me again why Mal was wrong Alright, now there should be a quest through the crown store that'd be the easiest event. Confirm. Yes. Well, I haven't purchased it, have I? But I've started the quest. Alright, we talked to Breda. Breda. I'm calling her Breda. One day, one day, sorry, Anger, get gay, gay, gay rard. I think it's really cool as well, they've, um... Alright, let's see if I've got enough to craft them. Ah. 
Alright. Let me just finish these quests. So I just want to do my dailies and then move on. Um, it would be nice if I could, like, get rid of some of these fucking quests that are clogging up my quests. My, um, my journal, but I, I just, I don't understand why they don't, um, have the... Sorry, I, I, I was halfway through a sentence then and started doing inventory management. I am. Uh, I do apologize. All right, let's uh, drop off the stuff that I don't need. Yeah, um, do the daily writs and move on. I do actually like this game. Dram of Magicka, huh? Nope. Dram of Magicka, there we go. Hey, alchemy went up by one! I have to leave that guild if that if I can't turn off those notifications. <sighs> yeah, I do need to move that um, chat around. I'm wondering if like I put it in the top corner. Yeah, I might do that. Why? Why? Chat, there we go. Put it in the top corner. Gotta add happy holidays. That's right. Happy holidays. What are you, a, 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 an atheist? I'm just kidding. Being silly. Pleased to see you, <sighs> stranger. We're starting the Christmas stuff. This is my first Elder Scrolls Christmas, so I'm pretty happy with that, at least. Um. Update on my uh, real estate, my my old uh, real estate, my my previous real estate agents. Uh, they want three hundred dollars plus the entire bond. To clean a clean house. Like, yeah, that's what we're dealing with right now. So yeah. Whoops, I shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. Not in the best of mental states, I have to admit. But, yeah. Yeah. They want to seize the entire bond and also charge us an extra $300 for cleaning. <sighs> I want to not 
be incriminating on uh, a public platform. <sighs> yeah. I don't know, it seems weird, like, I kept on telling, I told my brother, I told my mum, I told everyone, like, this is what they're going to do. And no one seemed to fucking believe me. And I'm just like, well, you... <laughs> they are actual ghouls. Um... Yeah, I mean, there's people that I know that I can, that can help and stuff like that. But the trickiest thing is money. If I'm gonna be taking if I, if I'm gonna be taking this shit to court, then like, you know, I don't know what I need to have to do. But fuck it, I'm not going down without a fight. I, I they they don't deserve anything without having to work for it, motherfuckers. Yeah. No, I agree, a shame. It's a struggle right now, I'm not gonna lie. Like, fucking mentally I'm fucking wrecked. Um... Yeah. Oh, what? I thought I crafted that shit. Twenty two twenty two um wrap up arcs. Yeah. I'm just um I'm in my no matter what I do I can't can't get out of debt arc. So Fuck it. I'll just max up about I'll max out a uh, couple of credit cards and bro blocks. <laughs> Just kidding. Noise dark brand did a soul and push repayment off for six months. Wait, so they didn't so so you didn't get it fucking forgiven? Fuck off. That's some bullshit. Student debt is gotta be like one of the most bullshit um fucking things in America, I swear. It makes no sense.
That's completely unfair. And ridiculous. Plus L plus uh Another day, another whatever the word is that I'm heads. trying to think of. I have a plus L plus opportunity for scholastic research today. <sighs> Ratio. Getting... Wee! Wee! Yeah. No. You should just you should just um you should just be forced to work in a rural area for a year and then you can go wherever the fuck you want instead of having student debt. Community service and shit. Student loan forgiveness is when no food. True. And the more no food you got, that's communism. Alright. Hear ye, card sharps and collectors. It. Test your wits and courage in a brand new card game. Tales of Tribute. down here in it. Go. I need to get these. I need to go through these treasure maps. Yeah. yeah that was a thing. Oh, Windhelm. Okay.
Oh, I haven't been there yet. Damn! How do I even get there now? Shit. Alright. Where do I have to go? Shadowfan. Dang it! Uh, I hate that. When I can't when I don't when I haven't been to an area. I guess I can try and find a boat there. Not to derail, but I wonder if Gavin McInnes will be successful in derail playing uh, Kanye West. Like, how do you how how does a Nazi de-radicalize another Nazi? <sighs> to me, it just smacks of like a Nazi saying, "Hey, yo, you can't you can't say Nazi stuff out loud." Oh wait, there's a there's a festival gateway. Ah, oh, okay. Oh. Ah, oh, gateway to the New Life Festival. Whee! Okay, cool. Makes sense. We in it. We in it now. Well, exactly. Like, fucking, he's a white supremacist. Like, what the fuck? Anyway, de-radicalization doesn't work. If 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 de-radicalization worked, then um, like, then then conversion therapy wouldn't be considered torture. Like, people don't fucking change like that. That's not how humans work. All right. Now, time to log out and log in with my other characters to do my writs and my researches. I found these. These are these are fucking gigantic um, lollipops. Look how fucking big that is. That's fucking insane. Uh, I, it doesn't even properly fit in between my teeth. That's amazing. You're welcome. This must be a cola flavor. No, like, the space between your teeth isn't that big. Oh, I... Uh... <laughs> See, it gets stuck. Mm. Yum. Gag reflex? What's that? Was that when you eat Brussels sprouts? Searched all of those. Jira Deni Ta.
Divines. Brussels sprouts taste better cooked in the oven, and anacondas are capable of physically unhinging their mandible. This is how they're capable of boring such large prey. Yum, 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 yum. Mm. Nope. Nope. Training? Nope. Invigorating? No. Nope. Uh, what about impenetrable? That'll do. I'm still researching on these ones. I'm gonna need more quicksilver ore though. Polyisoprene is better than latex. Apparently. Somebody's breaking the law. Breaking the law! Breaking the law! It should be all of the um, writs done, I think. Hold on. Yep. that yourself did you well done don't patronize me Rude. Mm. gotta love that leather
Oh, yeah. Did I miss one? No, I didn't. Weird. Uh, it's the Elder Scrolls Online's um, Christmas event. My hope. Hear ye, card sharps and collectors. Test your wits and courage in a brand new card game. Someone found a magic. I don't care. I play too much of this online. Welcome to the back. Go. Can't seem to get ahead here. Mm -hmm. I love me some. I love me some online. Online. Next on to carry eyes heart.
Hey, Hoso. How are you? Is it TLS? It's Vivo. I can't. Are you sure? I see a Vivo. I see a Vivo tab. Music is nice, though. Y'all missed the 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 the, the scrum yesterday, day before yesterday. Kusundai. Brush my teeth with some dick. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, okay. Well, all right. I, I thought there were more. <laughs> well, this this actually has some. Uh, this has bubblegum in the middle of it. It's the sluttiest lollipop ever. Alright. Blacksmithing first. As long as that's one clean dick. I'm gonna brush your dick before um, brushing my mouth with it. got to be it's got to be a big enough big enough and long enough to to knock those um those tonsil stones out mm, yeah <laughs> oh no wrong door shit
Nope. Yes, that's the win. Tonsilolith excavation. That's it. I gotta require a raid potency rune. Fucking. I sense life. There it is. Wah! She makes the funniest noises when she jumps. She's always, she's always just like, oh, oh yeah. yes, I've got an in yeah. with the foreman, getting some for a great price. Oh, I bet you've got an in with the foreman. Arr. Did I just step on a cat? Have no fear. I'll get your shipment where it needs going. Made that yourself, did you? Well done. Boxes in boxes of in boxes. In your own homeland, what are you going to do? This one what are you going to do? But he hopes his family is safe in Riverwood. Lanesti. Five full that is a title. My friend. Wait, what? You've come to make a deposit, yes? An error occurred. Dear ladies, start washing your ass. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? How do you find these? Dear ladies, start washing the your ass. Men don't have a right to say anything about us women. Until they start washing their ass. Are you under the impression that women are always- Wait, isn't this that anti-vaxxer bitch? Washing their ass, too? Are you under the impression that the chocolate carpet doesn't run between their butt cheeks at times, too? The fact that you would even insinuate that women don't know how to wash their ass is hilarious. That's obviously a man problem. In 
Interesting. For as long as I can remember, women have been trolling men for the fact that they don't always wash their ass. Oh yeah, this is this is the pick me girl. Like she hates feminism, um, and uses like weird stuff like this to come up with it. Personally, I don't think that this is a gender issue, but they sure seem to. So I polled my YouTube community, 3,400 votes, and I said only for sexually active. Wait, men. wait, 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 wait! You you pulled your anti fem you pulled your anti feminist um. Like, how how do we find out, um, what was it, YouTube demographics? How do we find out, uh, YouTube? Of specific users? I don't know how to find the uh, demographics of certain um, users, but, but I, I would be vi quite interested to find out what, what uh, hers is. Yeah, tattooed gender advocate that seeks to challenge feminism and de-radicalize men's rights. Okay, buddy. Oh, she's from Canada. Why? Why is it always Canada? Seriously. But how do you find out these things? I guess you can't. Oh well. Yeah. She's not- no, 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 she's anti-feminist. Almost every woman I know has a sex story that includes a man that happened to have a shitty ass. I'm curious okay. if any of you had had an experience with a random sexual encounter or an ex that includes her having an unknowingly shitty asshole. Fifty-six percent. Oh my goodness! Fifty percent, fifty-six percent of your anti-feminist audience said this. Uh, you polled your own audience. Okay. So it would appear, ladies, y'all are letting your chocolate starfish run wild sometimes. So, huh? Why don't you clean your own butt cheeks before, before clapping at somebody else's? Obviously, that's a fake poll. What? Antifa? Alright, that's it. Go wash your ass. No dick! Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, definitely sure I understand what her demographics are. <laughs> I think that was the video. That that was the video. Wait. She didn't even she just showed a poll that she did on her own channel. That was it. Okay. Okay, buddy. I don't know how I, I honestly don't know what that has to do with anything. <laughs> but cool. Um, you do you, boo. Like seriously, um, if that makes you feel feel better about like this stuff, I don't know. This is weird. She just I made a. This, this is the de time. this is the that's the definition of um, of just like uh, manufactured uh, outrage. She's like, people are joking about this. Well, I'm going to say that women do it too. Ha ha. Look, I'm not like the other women. <laughs> Check out my OnlyFans. <laughs> uh. Yeah, okay. Oh, wait, withdraw? No. I want to deposit! Oh yeah. There we go. Help here, mm, but that's not that's not because men bad. That's because men and women don't get taught proper sexual education. They don't get taught proper things about their bodies. Oh, 
I honestly don't care about the people's scores. Can I like mute guild shit? I have no idea. I would, I, I, I would uh, not be surprised. I, I am not surprised. In America, don't you guys just want to give teachers guns? That, that, that's how you want to teach them to teach. Things that actually affect women. And men. I don't think I did. I have to do that sometime. Not now, though. Okay. Reaches. Currently doing impenetrable, so I'm going to do that one. Battle axe. Powered and charged. Unknown. Precise. Defending. What about decisive? Ah, decisive.
<sighs> I understand you were instrumental in crushing the Daggerfall army at Devon's Watch. Yes, I am amazing like that. 21. Ice Staff. What are we looking at here for Ice Staff? Almost all of them, damn. But not precise. Yeah, no. Lightning Staff, almost all. Jacobin Sub 3 Central Committee. What's a Jacobin Sub? And Central Committee. Oh, fucking hell, that guy. Oh my gosh, what's this guy gonna fucking say about it? The KK Kangaroo. Oh Breaking gosh, news, he's... the Young Turks are pieces of shit. But Devin, can you support them? And like, he's just, he's just like the cringe anti-theist. Okay, yes, no. I can. I'm about to. I want to take a look at a video, which is them reacting to Kanye walking off of Tim Pool. Now for them, you hear a story like that and you think, how can I benefit? What about what happened there can reflect well on me? Who can I say I'm better than? And for them, it's like a target-rich environment. They're better than everyone there, don't you know? But they specifically go after Tim Pool, which is incredibly odd. Tim Pool is a guy who's about to have- Why is that, why is that, uh, like, incredibly odd? Like, Tim Pool is a piece of shit. <laughs> He's literally a piece of shit. If you didn't know, he like fuck he fucking tried to call the cops on his sister because he thought that he he was made the claim that his sister um swatted him. His fucking sister. And instead of like giving her a bit of financial help, he's just like, no, you have to move you move have to move across the country and live here. Like, seriously. Guy's a piece of shit. Our conversation. He's listening to Kanye ramble. He puts in about three sentences, one of which is him pushing back against open bigotry, which they agree with, the Young Turks agree with that, and they make a video saying Tim Pool is a bitch. And they're yeah. highly animated about it. They seem to be incredibly mad. Yes, but let's like, that was that that was Tim Pool just trying to um, whitewash himself and his uh, shitty views by juxtaposing himself against someone with shittier views. Like... Hold on. Temple. Yeah, because we can't even see his temple. Because we can't even see his temple most of the time because it's uh, hidden behind that fucking hat. Watch these talking pieces of shit try to explain, and here's the title, Tim Pool just told on himself in reaction to Ye walking off interview. All right, some usage of internet slang, which is lame as fuck. But yes, show us the gotcha. What did Tim Pool reveal about himself? Team. What do you mean it's not? It what, what do I mean? Like, uh, uh, okay, so how about... Are you leaving? Are you afraid of the press? He's on. Tim Pool hosting notorious anti-Semites and racists like Kanye West and Nick Fuentes wasn't the win that he was hoping it would be. Kanye walked out of the show after Tim Pool barely, barely pushed back, kind of, on some of his anti-Semitism. What do you mean? The first thing he said was to push back on his anti-Semitism, and then the show gets aborted. So it's only barely because Kanye left. He would have talked about that for two hours. And I think he did. He went on to further explain why he's not cool with platforming a guy who's just going to talk shit about the Jews with no pushback. So it really wasn't barely at all. But uh, yeah, like this is just proving the point. Like this is 18 minutes of the point being proven that like you're just trying to whitewash your shitty views. That's it. Spent some time sucking up to uh, his hateful dweebs. Yeah, and you spend time sucking on your husband's dick because you're gay. All right, that wasn't a good insult. I gotta. They can't all be winners, people. Let me get back to the drawing board and I'm gonna figure out some better ones than that. All right, I'm sorry. I, I failed you. And I wanna give you some examples of that. So why don't we take a look at the first video? Before the show, obviously, I'm getting a bunch of messages from people. People are hitting me up and they're like, you shouldn't host them. They're anti Semitic, they're white supremacists, they're racist. I do find the idea, uh, I do find it funny or weird, or whatever, that, you know, Nick, they call you white supremacist, you're here working with or for. I mean, you put that on your. Like, like, it, 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 is that fucking fire? 
That was just a that that was literally just a dribble of cum down his pants. That's what that was. I ain't fire. But like Tim Timple literally just like questioned whether a white supremacist was a white supremacist. Like Fuentes is a literal white supremacist and fascist. You know, one of the most powerful black men, one of the wealthiest and was famous. I like how it's not even clear. No, 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 I'm not talking about Tim Pool either. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the KK kangaroo here. Like, that was a dribble of cum down his pants. That wasn't fire. That was, that was the shittiest joke ever, which was, I think that, which was obviously on purpose to try and do the whole, oh, look, I'm making a shitty joke. Ha 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 ha. But it's just like, you couldn't make a joke and you're laughing about the fact that, and you're lampshading the fact that you can't make jokes. Yeah. There's a dribble of cum. He's working with or for. Is he being paid? What is his role? What are you doing here? He went on that podcast and he said one sentence. And the sentence was, it's the Jews. It's the Jews what? It's the Jews who oppressed Kanye and are unfair to him and have taken his... I mean, like, if you knew anything... If you knew anything about Nick Fuentes, you wouldn't be saying that stuff. So, like, let me, let me like, lay this out for you. Nick Fuentes is an actual white supremacist. You can literally just find so many instances of him talking about white supremacy and the like. It's just, yeah, that it's he's pretty pretty fucking blatant and outward about like that shit. Fucking big L on this guy. Jeez, he's not even Aussie. He's not Australian. He's American. It's money. And Tim was about to say, well, which Jews? What do you mean it's the Jews? What do you mean it's the Jews? Like Nick Fuentes believes in this shit and he's talked about it on many occasions he is a white supremacist he is an anti-semitic piece of shit and if you're going to start defending him here you're just as bad as fucking tim pool like you this whole video is going to focus on the fact that uh, tim pool pushed back upon like uh and anti-semitic conspiracy theories but and ignore the fact that uh, tim pool just whitewashed um Nick Fuentes in front of, like, a his massive audience. Nick Fuentes is a white supremacist and Nazi, dude. Like, actual neo-Nazi shit, dude. If you don't know what you're talking about, maybe shut the fuck up. So they're about to dive into the whole relevant point. Do you have a valid case that is rational and real, or is it irrational and unfair, therefore bigotry? It's the whole point. We never got to hear any of it, but it's not because Tim didn't want to talk Good. about it. Good! But, uh... A lot of people are saying on the right specifically, don't platform them. And I said, well, I want to, I want to understand what they're thinking, why they're thinking it. They're part of, they're involved in what may be the biggest news story of the past week, and we have an opportunity to sit down and, and talk. Because to them. the red media controls both sides, it just said it as simple as possible. Jared Kushner was next to Trump. Ron Emanuel was next to Obama. So I just wanted to play that first to give you a sense of what Tim Pool's pushback, what his challenging questions sound like. You know, challenging comments at like, you know. Uh, I, Nick, I mean, I can't believe people call you racist. I mean, you're advising Kanye West. I mean, would, would a racist do that? Probably not. Yes. Anna, I, I like that. I mean, maybe it's not so cut and dry to just be like, you're a racist. I mean, what does it mean that he associates and hangs out with Kanye West? Clearly, he's not the racist you think he is. Or maybe He's hanging around with a black guy who says racist and anti-Semitic shit. Who knows no fear of Daedric Plains. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't. I think that she's. Oh my gosh, please don't. Yeah, uh. What can I fucking say about that? Other than to point out the, obvi the obvious problems with that. Nick Fuentes is, is a white supremacist and uh, anti Semite. He pushes the the conspiracy theory that Jewish people controlled the media um, and the banks and shit like that. Like, literally pushing Nazi propaganda. Like, that's... And Tim Pool turned around and says, I can't believe that people call you a white supremacist. When he literally is, my dude. That's not pushback, my dude. You're a fucking idiot. Oh, he's working for a black guy. Yeah, be these people will use black people as a fucking mask to uh, to to hide behind. 
They love it when they can use the good ones, as you know, to to spread their bullshit. It's fucking disgusting. It's he's just a fucking he's just a fucking opportunist opportunist vulture, um, latching onto Kanye West's uh, fucking downfall. It, I'm doing you a favor. Maybe we should redefine our terms here. He's definitely said a million things you could take issue with, but the purity testing that Anna and Jenk undergo here is you have to say everything all at once. So every problem that you could possibly have with everything that has ever been said by any guest of yours, you have to say right now in one sentence. That is what? the... By the way, nice curls in your hair. Are you going to prom later? Like, what the... No, like, they're talking about the specifically... They're talking specifically about what Tim Pool said about not believing that uh, Nick Fuentes is a white supremacist when he is. Oh, yeah. Why do girls think that looks good? Good job uh, laundering the reputation of a well-known anti-Semite and racist. Well, he was in some ways trying to say the accusations of your racism have been exaggerated if you're hanging out with black dudes, which is a fair point, which you ignored. But also, he's not laundering his anti-Semitic reputation. The guy's not even denying his anti You're literally just using the I have a black friend argument here, dude. Need I say more? Anti-Semitism. <laughs> like, he's happy to tell you about it. And Tim Pool gets in a fight with him and pushes back on him being anti-Semitic about 30 seconds later. So, yes, good job. <laughs> like, good job. You did a great job there. Fantastic. Yeah. So, Fuentes is over the top. L yeah. They're literally pointing out the fact that they that, that he did work to launder Nick Fuentes' shitty views. And Nick Fuentes is now and not gone from a no one to now being like shown on like what is it the late night show or whatever. Yeah, I don't want to get too far into tokenism like because not my place. It just isn't. It's not my place. Um, but yeah, when it comes down to what Nick Fuentes is doing, he's trying to whitewash his image. To, in order to pursue a political career, it's fucking obvious. And Tim Pool is helping that happen, and the results are clear. Nick Fuentes isn't hanging around uh, Kanye West because he th likes black people. Nick Fuentes hates black people. He has said before how he wants black people to stick to themselves and stay away from uh, white people, that race mixing is evil, and all of that sort of shit. Nick Fuentes has said that. Nick Fuentes says, says everything that Nazis say without specifically saying the words out loud, which is why he's hanging out with a black guy who is saying the things out loud, because he doesn't give a fuck that it's going to destroy the black guy in the process. He is using him. If Nick Fuentes really wasn't a racist, then he would probably be pushing back against Kanye and trying to help Kanye instead of using him to forward his own political um, goals. Racist. Uh, we showed you uh, clips yesterday on the show. Uh, I, I can't do it justice, uh, but I mean, among the things he said is the military should occupy right. uh, uh, black parts of town. Well, where should they? No, they should occupy Beverly Hills. Let me unplug the awkwardness from what he just said. The military might need to go in, and by the way, that quote is taken out of context, so if you're talking, there's a riot, well, where's it's the not riot? Out of context. It's over here. No, 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 well, it wasn't taken out of context, text, dude. If, if it was taken out of context, then you would have shown it right now. I'm no. Um, right now. Fuentes was advocating for the suppression of black people and subjugation of them, similar to how things were, you know, during slavery. Like, show the fucking clip, or shut the fuck up. But is that a black part of town? Yeah, they're the ones riding. Okay, so should we stop them or bring in the next? Mm, yeah, also like, what riots are you talking about? Where are you talking about? Uh, if we're talking about Black Lives Matter, then we're talking about a surprisingly peaceful uh, movement uh, when you compare it to white nationalist rallies. Like the um, trucker, ra trucker rallies in Canada were uh, quite violent. Um, but we didn't call them rioters and loot looters. We, uh, we we call them truckers. You know, this is just th th these are double standards. These are double standards. A target got burnt down. A target got burnt down. There was a riot because black people were being treated like shit. 
you know? When you tread on the most uh, vulnerable members of a community, then you get what you fucking deserve. I, th I thought these I thought these chats were all into Joker when they completely missed the fucking message. National Guard? Probably. Yeah, we should. Unless you want to send in Kyle Rittenhouse. So then Nick Fuentes is being blamed that the riots are happening in a black part of town because it's the blacks doing it? And him acknowledging that is him- The blacks? I'm sorry? I mean, this is just it. Like, you're using the same language that Nick Fuentes done, does. Like, you love this shit because uh, you get to hide behind a black guy who's going to destroy his life and career saying the shit out loud. You love it because you get to see a black guy get fucked over and you also get to use him to uh, pursue your political goals. That's racist as fuck, my dude. You're being racist? That's crazy shit. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this at the top. That, 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 that is racist because saying that black people are rioting is like not actually even true. Like, you're, you are putting forward a racist narrative that you heard from Fox News. You're a piece of shit. Uh, blacks can't rule themselves, they're What? 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 What did he just say? What cannot blacks do? Uh, blacks can't rule themselves, they're inferior. Blacks can't rule themselves? He said that? <laughs> they're inferior. Uh, they rule themselves all over the place. I mean, there's local elected officials. Who do you think's like, running for Senate in Atlanta? Dude. This is what Nick Fuentes has said. Dude, like, they're still talking about what Nick Fuentes has said. Did you really just clip that out of context to try and, like, say that, like, that was, uh, Cenk from the Turks saying that? Are you fucking kidding me? Do white dudes? No. Are you fucking, are you fucking clip chimping? And what about Africa? <laughs> Holy shit. Wait. Won't even, won't even fucking show the clips that, uh, that, that, uh, Cenk, uh, is talking about to, and saying that they're cut out of context. Well, fucking prove it, buddy. And then you're literally cutting shit out of context in the next sentence. What about Love Haiti? It. If you want to look at the results of those leaders and how they are ruling themselves, that's an interesting discussion, but we're not here. No. It yeah, it's an interesting discussion to show how, like, they were forced to pay um, reparations to their slavers um, and are still, still haven't recovered from uh, that generational uh, trauma. Like, there, there are actual things that we can talk about, um, but you won't talk about them because you will say that it's just because they're black, because you're fucking racist. It's, we're here to smear this dude. You're a racist. You're an anti-Semite. I'm not even disagreeing. How could you defend the shit that Nick Fuentes has said over the years? I mean, this is the last guy to die on a hill for. This is not Jared Taylor. It goes on and on. I mean, he's not a, he's not subtle. There's no code words. He's just a flat out, outright racist white supremacist. He's not white. Yes. It's not within... Or not as white as me. Uh, Okay, so we've got a white supremacist defending a white supremacist. Your argument for him not being a white supremacist is because you think that he's not white. Or not as white as you. You said, dude, 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 you need to you need to find a black guy to say that for you because you just said the quiet part out loud. And then what does Tim Pool do? He said, well, I mean, you're working with a black man who also thinks, uh, wears White Lives Matter shirts. He also thinks what? What's wrong? White lives do matter. White Lives Matter is a um, white supremacist uh, statement in the same way that white power is a um, uh, white supremacist statement in in uh, response to the black power movement. Like, context, dude. Understand. I like how it's just, talk about coded. If you think white lives matter, you are racist? And you think blacks can't rule themselves? And, like, that's a complete non sequitur. So, so like... Buddy... You're still taking that out of context. He's an infinitely stupid man who's mentally ill. Inferring that to think white lives matter means you are mentally ill. That's a mentally ill thing to think. Pushing white supremacist agenda. Kanye West is mentally ill. He has uh, he's unmedicated and going through a manic episode. Um, he has fucking he has fucking bipolar, and people are using him for that. What oh, is the white supremacist gosh. agenda? To matter what so you found a lackey to, right. to a blackie do the same say the same things you are while being black and tim pool launders that to well obviously you're not racist Fuentes. some of your best friends are black right yeah, yeah. If you have best friends so this whole point was calling out the fact that uh, nick fuentes is trying to launder his image 
and you're doing a shitty way, sh- really shitty, <laughs> a really shitty job of trying to uh, push back against that. That are black, you're not racist. Can we just uh, put this thing I, to bed? I don't know. If some of your best friends are black, you are not racist. Period. Yeah. yeah what a- and by the way, when he said that, my friend is black is not an excuse for being racist. This is very fucking basic shit, dude. What the fuck? Fuentes' uh, face was funny. Yeah. He's like, if, well, you have bla- if you have black friends, you're not racist. Do you think that Kanye is Nick Fuentes' friend? What the fuck? What world do you live in, dude? Nick Fuentes is using Kanye. Oh, fucking like, hell. <laughs> Although you don't- you know <laughs> he that. He offended. You know that. You slipped up earlier. You slipped up earlier with your white supremacist bullshit. <laughs> I know what you are. I know exactly what you are. Fucking hell. That he was being called not racist. I mean, Jenk denied the Armenian genocide for 50 years publicly. Wrote yeah. Articles about it. But so, some of my. F- and, uh. Oh. The, I, I, I'm just. I, I just gotta, like, you know, like. Um. You do have quite a bit of enemies, and I think it is important to address uh, some of the Claims that are going to be made against you throughout this race, yes. right? So, um, look, I, I want to be clear that I have full editorial control on this program now. Uh, there's obviously a, a, a conflict of interest if Jake had any editorial control, and he does not. So, I'm going to go ahead and ask you a question that's probably going to make you incredibly uncomfortable. You have a past of denying the Armenian genocide, mm-hmm. and that is going to come up during this race, yeah. and so. I think it's important for you to discuss the Armenian genocide, both your past uh, position on it and where you stand today. Yeah, okay, fair. Um, so, uh, first of all, uh, the Armenian genocide happened. Uh, and uh, if you have read online that when I was a kid in college, and, and, and even a little bit later than that, when I was a young guy, that I denied it. That is true, okay? And the reason is I grew up with only the Turkish side of the story. So, I, I read all these accounts. And back then, I didn't have the context of of having done this show, having learned, having grown up, having matured. So I remember reading this one thing of a of an American colonel who said that the Armenians had returned yeah. to Turkey entirely fat and unmassacred. And I remember writing that in an editorial or something like that. Looking back on it, that is so embarrassing. How childish! That guy obviously wanted some sort of contract. Or wanted some sort of deal. Nobody returned. Look at Turkey. There's no. There's still some Armenians in Turkey. When I grew up in Turkey, I was eight years old. We had Armenian friends, but there used to be a lot of Armenians, certainly in eastern Turkey and yes, in western Turkey as well. They're not there. They didn't return. They didn't return fat and on massacre. That's preposterous. Now, as an adult, when I read that, I go, oh, obviously that guy has some interest that that he's trying to protect. So, and and to look, Turks get. Both sides get super mad about this, and it's because it touches their core identity. And and so Turks say, no, 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 I never uh, want to say, guys, almost everybody admits there's massacres. But Srebrenica, 8,000 people died, and they were targeted in that case because they were Muslims. The UN calls that a genocide. Mm-hmm. If that's a genocide, then what happened to the Armenians is clearly a genocide. Then Turks will get touched and they'll say, oh, yeah, what happened to the Native Americans? That's a genocide. Well, you're right, it yeah, is. It was. So why don't you just say it? Why don't you admit that it was an Armenian genocide? And yes, it was a Native American genocide. There's nothing wrong with that. So if you read out there anywhere that I still deny it, that is nothing but a lie. So uh, one of the other things that's likely to come up uh, are the blogs that you wrote years ago. Uh, and. Those I just I, 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 I don't want to defend Cenk Huger. I, I just want his words to speak for themselves. When, when people bring up the fact that he denied the genocide, like a few years ago, uh, some of the conservative writers can, out there, uh, you can come to the uh, the conclusion that you want to on this one, right? Uh, I, 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 
my opinion doesn't matter with this. I just want to juxtapose the what he's saying about um, this issue with what the KKK kangaroo uh, is saying about this shit. Revealed them and uh, you were forced to apologize about them. So can you talk about what was in those old blogs and uh, why you apologized? Okay, so the, the blogs are bad uh, and it was when I was a politically incorrect Republican. And uh, and so if you want, I can get into my whole history of why I grew up a liberal Republican in, in New Jersey and then eventually became a progressive. Wait, so the, the, the Armenian genocide, the denial stuff and the uh, like shitty takes that he had. I mean, he still has shitty takes, like seriously, fucking hell. I don't even wanna go into that. Um, like. It's interesting that his shittiest takes in life were when he was a Republican. Just want to put that out there. So, uh, the short answer is, um, I believe in facts. And the more facts that came in, the more I realized the Republicans were yeah. full of crap. But back then, I'm trying to prove how politically incorrect I am. So I wrote uh, a lot of silly things, wrong things, outrageous things. And, uh, and But also, by the way, I will say that some of them, the ones that are most often quoted were jokes about myself, where I was obviously making fun of myself. So, like I said, something about women having poor genes because they won't sleep with me. That's obviously a joke about me, right? So, having said that, should I have made that joke? No. Um, so, but what I'm no shit. amused by, yeah, I'll say it, is that when Republicans, if you're a Democrat and you're a progressive and you're bothered by those old words, you're 100% right, right? But Republicans, who revel in so-called political incorrectness, now pretending that that younger Republican idiot, that's me, okay, back then, did something that offends them? You're not offended, you weren't offended back then, you're not offended now. You're trying to use it as a political tool. And by the way, if you're saying, hey, you should vote for a Republican in that race instead of Cenk, because back then he was a Republican idiot. Well, that's it, that's it, he said it. But I'm gonna play it again for you. I'm gonna play it again for you before we go back. You're trying to use it as a political tool. And by the way, if you're saying, hey, you should vote for a Republican. You don't care about it. You're using it as a political tool, just like I am. Favorite co-hosts are Armenian. Now later, Poole tells Kanye that he feels the corporate press has been incredibly unfair to him. But apparently that level of ass kissing wasn't enough for Kanye. So why don't we take a look at how that worked out for Tim Poole. And again, yes, Kanye's ego is massive. He was a big baby. Him going to a podcast and then aborting within 10 minutes after ranting and rambling in like a totally incoherent way is ridiculous. The dude is a man child and his ego is astronomical in size. I think they've been extremely unfair to you. I Who was they though? We can't say they is, can we? Press. I'm not using the, I don't use the word as the, as the way I guess you, you guys use, I'm, I'm talking It is about them it. though, isn't it? I mean, because, <laughs> no. and, and because when you think it's about not. it, consider it. In 2018. What do you mean it's not? It, what, what do I mean like, uh, uh, okay, so how about, are you leaving? Are you afraid of the press? I mean, it's so oversimplified and it's such a shame that they couldn't even discuss it because it would be evidently exposed to you that they don't even know what they're saying. It's like- They don't even know what they're saying? No, like Nick, Fu Nick Fuentes knows exactly what he's saying. Nick Fuentes is a Nazi, my dude. Holy fuck. Like, if you want to argue a flat earther, just let them talk. You know, ask them some key questions and just let them expose how ridiculous their stance Oh yeah, and that and that really made that movement go away, didn't it? That really made that go away. Where where are the flat earthers now? Did they, you know, turn around and say, "Oh, we were wrong, um, we were wrong, uh, the world is round," and then become normal people? No. You want to know where the where the people who are flat earthers are now? Deep into Nazi Antarctica fucking conspiracy theories with QAnon bullshit. They got worse and they festered. You don't give fucking air to this shit. A, it's a waste of time. And B, like, it causes people to have, to create, it, it gives an environment to these people to create communities around them. Nick Fuentes has, has immensely benefited from this shit. That's the problem with it. What am I, what am, case, who, I, who am I trying uh, to convince here? Too. Like, he fucking goes, hell, this yeah, guy, this guy is, he's like, this guy, this guy is in on this shit. Like, he slipped up earlier saying, saying that Nick Fuentes uh, isn't white. 
The fact that you said that, I know what you are. Holy shit. Well, yeah, but that's the Jews. That's them. I mean, you could, like, you could respond by saying that um, I'm just, like, calling anyone I disagree with a Nazi. You can call, you can say that if you like, but I still fucking see you. I'm not here trying to convince people. I know what you are. I do. I don't give a fuck about anyone else um, is in on it or not or agrees with me. I fucking know what you are, my dude. As in every article written about you has been from a Jew? No? Every business dealing you've had has been with a Jew? How about the business dealings that go well with Jews? How about your accountant that you have no problem with and he's Jewish? Does that get factored into this conversation? I mean, it really is a simple man trying to... You all Americans are fucking weird. Like, the whole idea of, like, Jew Jewish bankers and shit, and, like, yeah, like, what about the rest of the world which doesn't have, like, a huge fucking, um, Jewish population? Where Jewish people, like, just aren't really around that much. <laughs> what about Australia, where we have, like, similar problems to America, capitalist, capitalistic-wise, where, where Jewish people don't, fa aren't factored into the conversation? Ooh, the shit still turns out the same here. Uh, Jewish people will have nothing to do with, uh, you being Jewish has nothing to do with, uh, Kanye West. Like, get, get fucking destroying his reputation by attacking a marginalized group. That's the thing. Like, Jewish people don't have any power in that sense. That's why we all come together to defend them because they don't have power. You don't, it's not Jewish people that are doing fucking shit. It's people like me who care about marginalized communities that work against people like you who are fucking like blood purists when it comes to white supremacists like you you won't even call a fellow white supremacist white that's how i know what you are figure out who can i hate how can i just make this a bump honestly honestly like these sort of conversations about whiteness only happen within nazi spaces and that's what I, that's all i'm saying like they like nazis arguing over how white they are compared to other people like based on their bloodline that bullshit is so, is so deep into fucking Nazi spaces, it's fucking hilarious. For sticker. I don't have time for the nuance. He's gone. I'll say it right now. Um, you, guys, I, I, you guys want to bring that stuff up? And have, have the we're discussion. Not gonna, not gonna have like, a conversation. Like have the discussion. Like you, you think he's going to come in here and say, here's my pain, here's my suffering, I'm going to say, I hear you. And then he's going to say, and it was Jewish people, and I'm going to be like, okay, but don't you consider, so I'm not going to do this, I, I refuse. Go, uh, make sure he's cool. All right, go for it. Luke and I will have a conversation. Okay, so Jake, I know you've got a lot to say about that particular clip and the cowardice that's displayed. There. What cowardice? Ca from Kanye? Oh, okay. There, the snowflake behavior that we see from Kanye, who can't even, I mean, can't even handle like the lightest disagreement imaginable. And by the way, you guys never disagree with each other and kiss each other's ass and push back zero times on each other. Okay. You do have quite a bit of enemies and I think it is important to that I have full editorial control on this program now. The editorial control and he does not. The question is probably going to make you incredibly uncomfortable. You have a past of denying the Armenian genocide. Yeah, ne never, never push back. Ne never have pushback. Yeah, cool. But what did you think was okay, going to happen, buddy. Tim? Yeah, you idiot. I mean, do, did you think you were going to have an exchange of ideas and Kanye, who has a obvious mental health issue and has said obvious anti-Semitic things? Why are you yelling, you fuck? What was he expecting? He's expecting- Why are you yelling? This is Anna Kasparian. That's her character. <laughs> uh, what? Why are you being a white supremacist? Because it's your character. To talk to some adults on a show and entertain nearly 100,000 people live and get into a hours long detailed back and forth about ideas, their ideas and if they're valid and what they think. No, like Pimple likes to like platform, uh, platform and whitewash um, far right, like conspiracy theories and views constantly on his channel. And like skew the, skew the news to give it the worst possible light for leftist um, thought. That, they're not talking, they're talking about ideas. Well, some ideas are just shit, my dude. Um, yeah. White, like white supremacy and uh, not being able to call an, a fellow white supremacist white. Think about things and then he'll tell you his reaction. It's called a conversation. 
That's what he was expecting, Anna. And he says obviously anti-Semitic things. Tim is aware of that. He brought it up. He said, here's a news story where they're calling you anti-Semitic. That's obviously something we're going to talk about. The second it did get brought up, Tim says... No, no, and, and he's not even engaged. The, the, the KK Kangaroo dude is not even engaging with the questions. Like, she's just like, what did you expect, Nick? Uh, what did you expect, Tim? Like, yeah, anyone could see that was going to fucking happen. Kanye, Kanye is a bitch baby. Um, who's being taken advantage of by white, actual fucking white supremacists who are happy to drive his reputation to the ground so that they can whitewash their own image. Like, that's the whole point of the fucking conversation about it. And you're just getting angry about her yelling about it. That's that's what she does. She, she yells. Here's how I feel about it. It's entertainment! I don't agree with your anti-Semitism. And the man deserves credit. He didn't just Dave Rubin it up. And I agree, Kanye. He doesn't deserve any credit because he then because he only said that after he turned around and said that Nick Fuentes isn't a white supremacist. That's the point. Nick Fuentes, Nick Fuentes is the most anti-Semitic piece of shit. He said, you're one of the biggest stars in the world. You have enough money to fucking buy my entire beanie collection ten times over. And I'm going to risk my cozy relationship with you and say I disagree with what you're saying, Mr. Billionaire. Live and in front of the world, I don't think you're right here. Now, he's doing it in a respectful manner. He's not being a petty little bitch about it going, uh, Kanye, you're a fucking Jew hater, you fuck. He's trying to calmly explain why he disagrees. That's the best you have. You think the media has been unfair to him? Yeah, there's something to discuss when it comes to that. For example, no. Kanye's original remarks where he goes, I have had a lot of Jews screw me over in business. I'm just saying. That is true. Wait, what? No, I didn't say that. He said that after, he, I'm pretty, like, that's not how the conversation went down. Can you, like, fucking, uh, put some receipts on, on screen for once? Like, no, you're fucking lying. True, it's sloppy, it's also, like, what It's, like, and it's also fucking irrelevant to bring up that they're Jewish. Like, what's the fucking rev relevancy of a person being Jewish or not when it comes to screwing you over in business? Jewish people aren't more likely to screw you over in business you're just likely to get screwed over in business because that's the way that uh, society is structured within a capitalist system is to screw over people like that's just capitalism doing it capitalism you're blaming Jew blaming jewish people because you can't actually see the fact that capitalism is the is the cause of root cause of all these problems you saying now him coming out here again doubling down and going jews control everything jews control the media they control presidents I'm talking to Farrakhan. Like, this whole shit, he's really exposed himself. Like, he is going down that path and his association with Nick Fuentes. What do you think they're talking about? So I don't know about the media coverage of this event. Wait, why are you putting Metro, Metro th like, gameplay footage now? I'm confused. But the prior shit, they threw him under the bus like, you are Hitler, and he suffered real bad from having said that. Who's they, and who said that it was Hitler? What? What are you talking about? Like, he, like, Kanye West kept on saying anti-Semitic shit, and then, like, gloated over saying anti-Semitic shit. And people reacted to that by saying, hey, no anti-Semitic shit. And Hitler comparisons are, 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 would be completely fucking normal, because, like, the anti-Semitic anti -Semitic shit and Hitler are both, like, inextricably linked topics of conversation, you fucking idiot. You just don't like talking about that because uh, Hitler's your favorite butt boy. And his original comments were perhaps not as bad as they were made to appear. What? What exactly? I, I want to know, Tim. I really want Tim to answer this question. Well, why don't you? But they were. But 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 they were uh, exactly how they appeared, and we know that. We know that now, especially because of the things he said. Uh, he Kanye West is an anti-Semitic piece of shit, and that's not because he's got a mental illness. The mental illness is what other people are using to destroy his reputation and his life in order to further their own goals. He's being used by white supremacists. Like, the people who are ruining his life right now aren't Jewish people. No, they're Nick, Fuente Nick Fuentes and uh, the right who want to fucking run this man's reputation to the ground to further their political goals. Like, they want to use him to say the, the quiet part out loud so they get to look good. And now Nick Fuentes is being platformed on more and more mainstream news sources. <laughs> you don't give air to this stuff. This is what having a conversation about these things does. It doesn't fucking make people... Um, it doesn't make people less likely to uh, get uh, screen time. Like, the more screen time you give people, the more uh, opportunities they have to uh, speak to a wider audience. That's how shit works, dude.
There is no such thing as bad publicity when it comes to this shit. You're always going to find people who agree with you. It's not about changing minds and hearts. It's about getting on the biggest platform possible to spout your um, awful views so more people hear you and more people support you and you more people start talking about you so you get to go through you know the news cycle and gain more of a following. Like That's what happens when you platform hate speech. That, that, that's part of the process of that people don't get destroyed in the marketplace of ideas because like marketplace of ideas is 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 just religious bullshit for capitalism bring him on the show or go on his show you don't because you're afraid of him there's no reason these two people no tim pool just doesn't talk to leftists like he refuses to talk to the, he refuses he's, he's scared of sam cedar everyone's fucking scared scared of sam cedar you think that he'll have Anna, he'll talk to anna kasparian fuck no in fact, Anna Kasparian is the more likely to talk to, talk to Tim Pool than anyone else. If you want to talk to, and, and also Tim Pool's, uh, to, Tim Pool's uh, uh, spoken to Matt Bender as well. Like, fuck off. Fuck off, dude. No one's scared of Tim Pool. No one's scared of Tim Pool. Anyone would fucking go on Tim Pool's project because, like, yeah. You think I should do an ad? I'm just wondering how how long is there People in shouldn't this video? Talk. They have platforms. This is content. This is a dispute. Bezos. Tim is more Top than the happy hour to talk on to the hour. They are ducking Tim Pool. Just so you guys are completely clear about that. Okay, I want Tim to tell me what exactly a person needs to say, verbalize, for you to to admit or agree that that's anti-Semitic. He already did agree. That's why Kanye left the show. He's saying it's not right to lump people together based off identity and to disparage <sighs> them because of it. That's his stance. I mean, you're talking about the aftermath of a show that got aborted because Tim Pool did not agree with his anti-Semitism. That's the whole point. And you're sitting here like, uh -huh. what would it take? It would take Kanye saying something anti-Semitic and immediately Tim Pool says, that's not the point. Hey, 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 come grow. Not cool. On two different occasions, in the 20 minutes that Kanye West was on the show, he repeated, <laughs> you know, Jared Kushner right next to Donald Trump, Rahm Emanuel right next to Obama, see? Like they're, the, they're being controlled by, by Jewish people, right? Like, that's what he's trying to say. And yes, that is true. Technically true. So. No, it's not. Jared Kushner is Trump's son-in-law. You fucking idiot. Like, if you think that um, people, the Jewish, Jewish people are trying to control the government, then you need to fucking prove that. You need to actually fucking prove that rather than say, oh, look, that person's Jewish. It'd be much easier for me to say, oh, shit, that president's white. Fuck. It's white people that are trying to control everything. White people are trying to control everything and trying to, you know, control government through money and, and stuff like that. It's white people. Like, just switch it around a bit and, like, go with the most obvious shit. You want to, you're wanting to believe in like a fucking fucking Jewish people like a minority who have no uh, real political power um, over white people who have the most political power, like come on, come on, dude, get get to reality. Stop being a flat earther. Yeah, th those are two things that were new. So that just happened within the last five minutes. From Tim Pool's perspective, he could have addressed that. He would have. But Kanye is on a ramble. The guy's talking nonstop. He takes offense if you interrupt him. And so Tim can't even get a word in. And the first word he does get in, he pushes back. And as far as the Rob Emanuel and Jared Kushner, it's not some controversy. If you have an advisor to a president, they're not controlling the president, but they're... Jared Kushner is, like, not an advisor to Trump. He was... He's Trump's son-in-law. And, like, it wasn't a point of advisement to Trump. It was he was in a position to make money from being on the team. That's the way that Trump made his money is by using nepotism. Advising the president. That's because they're advisors to the president. They're campaign managers. That's their job. And yes, those two dudes are Jewish. I mean, you could easily point out the fact that there's many other advisors who aren't Jewish and point out the fact that I did in my last video that those two guys, those two Jews, disagree with each other. Well, exactly, but um, Anna's pointing out the fact that um, that <laughs> Anna's pointing out the fact that Kanye just just stated that uh, the presidents were being controlled by Jewish people, implying that, and then ended up saying saying the quiet part out loud. You fucking idiot. One's like, it, yeah, no shit. That that's the argument. That's the true argument. But like, you don't you are being the devil's advocate right now rather than stating your actual beliefs because you aren't 
you don't have a Kanye West to say the quiet part out loud for you a right Democrat, now. One's a Republican. So how are they in lockstep with each other? What is the Jewish agenda if those two guys completely disagree with each other? Exactly, dude. Oh, wow. You know what? That's so, so fucking, so, so fucking smart and normal of you. I'm sure that's what you actually believe about the situation. No, Devin, it's not that those two guys aren't in lockstep, but like, it's still Jews controlling stuff. Okay, so. Yeah. You just said that it didn't matter that they were Jewish, and then you said, oh yeah, it's Jewish, Jews, Jewish people just controlling stuff. It's just like, what are they controlling, dude? What are you talking about? You're just saying, you're just dog whistling. This entire fucking video is a fucking dog whistle, and you're loving it, because you're trying, you're, you're now trying to use Kanye West's reputation to uh, whitewash your own image, and I'm not buying it. I know what you are. I but see that's you. the story you want to run with? There are Jews that have positions of power in the world. Yeah, therefore... So what is the global thing? What is your case? Build a freaking case. You haven't. He said that twice in the 20 minutes that he- Like, she's not building a case, you fucking idiot. She's making the point that Kanye West believes in this stuff. She She's not the one who needs to build a case about this, because there actually isn't a case. There actually isn't a case for Jewish people controlling the world or the media. Um, because if you say that, you just don't understand how the world and media work. You don't understand geopolitics, you don't understand media, you don't how, understand the complicated ways that these things interact with each other. You just think, is this motherfucker, is this white supremacist motherfucker trying to, uh, like, saying that, is, is this motherfucker trying to get other people to come up with his own um, anti-Semitic conspiracy theories for him or something? It's like, why the fuck would um, Anna Kasparian come up with an anti-Semitic Jewish, th Jewish, uh, oh, sorry, uh, anti-Semitic conspiracy theory on her own in this conversation? She doesn't need to. That already exists. It's called Nazis. You fucking dickhead. What exactly does he need to say, Tim? Tell me. Tell me what he needs to say. Anything remotely anti-Semitic. Yeah. Also, welcome back to the stream, Bunny B. Lena, friend, friend of the show. I really, really hate uh, so many of the Jewish conspiracies. People just mad at capitalism, but just but try to claim capitalism can be good if others were on top. Yeah, it's it's, it's just that. It's just like, they, they, they focus on Jewish people and forget the fact that it's like a hegemon, hegemonic uh, power structure in play as a result of uh, the hierarchical system of capitalism. But it's much easier just to say Jewish people doing it. Ugh, baby brain shit. And Temple will push back immediately, therefore forcing Kanye to leave the show. That's your answer, you beaky, hook-nosed freak. Because it's not coded. He's not coding. No, not at like all. Like, in the old days, there's the, uh, I recorded my, uh, What the fuck are you talking about? Hook-nose? Beaky? What are you talking about? Wait a second. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Beaky hook nose. I don't understand. Like, why? Why does he calling her hook nose? Her, her nose look just normal to me. I'm confused. Coming book from Lee Atwater. Your book, which has been ten years in the making. What the fuck is that background? What the fuck is that background? That beaky hook nose motherfucker in the background. <laughs> Yeah, but like she's not Jewish though. She's um, I mean, she's the she's uh, Armenian, or well, like her parents were Armenian, uh, unless the her parents I don't know. I fucking I don't know. Uh... Yeah, she's from Armenian, Armenia. Oh, no, she, no, sorry, she was born in America. I don't fucking know. D dude, d dude, this guy, this guy, this motherfucker, like, his argument for Nick Fuentes not being a white supremacist is calling Nick Fuentes not white. So, like, he probably has a whole fucking genealogy on, on, on every one of these people that, that he hates. It's just so he can call himself more white than them. 
because he's a white supremacist piece of shit. Hook knows, though, like... Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm really interested in this, though, now. Like... Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, well, yeah, of course, the Nazis would eventually, like, throw Fuentes under the bus, but that didn't stop the brown shirts from being the brown shirts, did it? ...about this is, like, we used to say the N-word, and then it became politically damaging, so we started using code words, and he explained the different layers of the code words. Now, Trump and Kanye and others have taken the code words away. Nick Fuentes doesn't use any code words. He just says they're yes, inferior... Yeah, Nick Fuentes does literally use code words, but like he does, he is a lot less uh, subtle when it comes to this stuff. We're superior. We should control them. Huh? What? I like how we switch back from racism to anti Semitism. They're sort of interchangeable with these people. Who's inferior? Who's superior? What? We anti Semitism is a form of, ra of racism, you fucking idiot. We control them? Who are we controlling? The whole point is they're accusing Jews of having disproportionate control in society. Which is not true. And you're going to say, well, some of them... Also, we were just talking about Tim Pool. Now you're just, oh, no, I'm over to Nick Fuentes. And, and lock them up, etc. Kanye doesn't use any code words. He's like, the Jews control the media. The Jews control everyone. They control Trump. They control Obama. He has that is, hey, look, that's the definite... Oh, Q, uh, KKK, K, KKK kangaroo, um, like, saying that some Jew, Jewish people do have control. It's anti-Semitism. But how is that anti-Semitic? How? It, what the word control if you have disproportionate power and influence in an industry yeah you jewish people don't have disproportionate power and influence in in, in in industry in any industry they don't that's the point that's the anti-semitic thing is just the assumption that they have the control what do you call fucking called it again that like, that's what I said, it's white people, they're just like, oh, look, oh, you know, like, the, you know, most of the, did you know that most of the, pre most, did you know that every single one of our prime ministers, for as long as Australia has been around, they've all been fucking white, holy shit, there's a fucking white, they're, 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 white people control the world, it's a fucking conspiracy, my dudes. You're not saying that's not true, it is true, it's I don't not. understand this. I mean, no, that, yeah, that's why you don't understand, because that's the anti-Semitic thing. Um, and I would say that you're a dumbass who doesn't know what you're talking about, but you are obviously not showing a power level. But it's okay, I know what you are. Like, you can look at the Young Turks. Who's the co-founder of the Young Turks? Ben Mankiewicz. You think he's Jewish? Yeah, he's Jewish. Who funded the Young Turks? Katzenberg, to the tune of millions of... Who has uh, editorial control over the Young Turks? on this program now. Uh, there's also, uh, some of the claims that are gonna be made uh, against you throughout this race, yes. right? So um, look, I, I wanna be clear that I have full editorial control on this program now. Uh, so uh, tell me again how Jewish people are controlling uh, to the, the Young Turks, tell me again. Dollars. So Devin, are you saying the Young Turks are controlled by Jews? Well, they're founded and funded by Jews. So, I mean, what am I supposed to say about it? Uh, about this race, yes. right? So, uh, full editorial control on this program now. Uh, there's obviously uh, a- That's what you're supposed to say. The truth. <laughs> Just the truth? Nothing, it's complete, like that doesn't, that's not true? Katzenberg is not Jewish? Mankiewicz is not Jewish? But no, but Devin- Control on this program now. I, I want to be clear that I have full editorial control on this program now. I just just want to keep on putting that point out there. Is it their Jewishness that is also, somehow uh, like an Arab also for for the for the record? Sure. So I remember reading this one thing of a of an American colonel who said that the Armenians had returned a little bit later than that when I was a young guy that I denied it. That is true. Okay, and the reason is I grew up with. 
only the Turkish side of the story. Uh, first of all, uh, the Armenian genocide happened. Okay, just just want to get that out of the way. Bear. Again, um, for those who didn't so, hear it. Uh, first of all, uh, the Armenian genocide happened. Okay, cool. Let's go. Born force that you disagree with? No, I'm saying those guys are Jewish. This is a pattern. This is not a bizarre phenomenon for Jews to. Okay, so there's dots there, but you need to contract, con, um, connect the lines with actual um, data and analysis, which you can't do because there is no actual connection. It's just you are seeing faces in clouds, my dude, and creating an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory around it. Be taking part in media, the very media that is right now trying to deny that Jewish people what have media? influence. In media, like media is like a huge thing. Like this is this is why it is. They boil it down to these like very very like vague terms. Um, you know, th you know, there's black people in media. Oh my gosh, black people are controlling media. Oh! So it's like um, the, the anti-Semitic thing is saying that um, people are uh, who are Jewish have some form of plan. Uh, that be because Jewish, wait, it, it's it's just like um, you know what it is. Do you know what it is? The best way I can describe this, um, st how stupid this um, standpoint is is trans women in sports. Uh, stay with me on this one. Stick with me on this one. Even when we win... we Even when we succeed as trans people, we are looked down upon for it. And the same thing is said of every successful Jewish people because of systemic oppression. You fucking piece of shit. The media is controlled, funded, and created by Jews. So, <laughs> awkward. Look, I mean- It's not awkward at all. Let me just, um, I'm not sure if, uh, if, if, if we saw this before, like, uh, hold on a second. Look, just... I, I want to be clear that I have full editorial control on this program now. Uh, so like, yeah, unless you're calling her, um, Jewish, in which case, like, um, you will have to do a bunch of, uh, like, Nazi shit in order to come around to that, but, like, yeah. If you'd like to watch the rest of this video, it's over at censored.tv. Go over there and sign up, but be sure to use the coupon code AIU to get- Hold up, hold up, wait, wait, wait. If you don't- StarCraft 2! <laughs> coupon code, I get nothing, alright? Yeah, good. Yeah. KK Kangaroo. I'm gonna t take a quick break now so I can use the ladies' room. Um, and, uh, yeah, get that Bezos cash. Um, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, or just follow. So if you're not followed already and you want to keep it, keep keep up to date with me coming online, then uh, yeah, don't forget to do that. Um, but I will be back very shortly after this short break. So don't go anywhere or do either way. I will be back very shortly.
Sorry that took so long. I was getting myself some food. <sighs> Alright, let's do this uh, New Life Festival, shall we? Or sh sh crash straight into it. There is a quest here. New Life Herald. You're here for the New Life Festival? I'm happy to serve as a herald. I can tell you all you need to know. Oh my gosh, this isn't cooked. Dang it! Back so Saws. I'm third. That for some reason it didn't it didn't cook all the way through, which is a problem. It marks a fresh start to the new year for all who walk beneath the sun. Oh, Everyone nice. Everyone in Tamriel celebrates. Well, oh, wonderful. Perhaps not the Maurmer, but everyone else. You should try it for yourself and see. Oh, wrong button. The New Life Festival was once a celebration of Magnus, the Sun God. I have a book. You're welcome to read about the history mm -hmm. if you care to. My favorites. I'd rather tell you about the celebrations. Very few involve a chance of paper cuts. Celebrations? There are more than one? Of course. They're different all over. I've taken part in cliff jumping, anchor tossing, and even drunken at chat air racing. Though Orsinium had to cancel Drunken a chatter racing. Simply ask, and I'll send you to the best celebrations in Tamriel. Damn. Okay. Oh, experience boost. Mhm. Mm you are curious about new life traditions, aren't you? Mhm. Mm the High Elves of Haven have the War Orphan Soldier. They travel to a temple in the heart of Grotwood and donate what they can. I'll mark your map. Okay. The War Orphan's Sojourn. Okay, and what's this guy? Who are you? Well met, traveler. Are you old life? Old life is an imperial tradition. You must. Yeah, sure. Yeah. What should I write? Fortune. Would you take okay. the messages? Of... All right. Well, I think that's the quest Um. Oh, there's books and stuff around. Where's the books? Show me books. Oh, there's a book. Charity writ. All right. So. Now there is a tool. Yes. There we go. So let me s switch to that tool. Oh, I gotta chop something before it works. Oh wait, what, why did it go there? Oh, hold on. It needs to be there. There we go. Four. Let's get that that 
Uh, two hour of bonus experience. Oh, fuck yes, that feels good. And let's get to that way shrine before we lose the, the spot where we are. Friggin' nom. It's hard eating ribs and playing games at the same time, though, I have to admit. Life here! <laughs> Reapers March. Can I even get that? How do I even get that? Dang it. How do I get to Reaper's March? Where is Reaper's, Reaper's March? Rift, Cyrodiil, East March, Praglon, The Reach, Alakir, Bunkarai. Uh, where is it? Oh, Reaper's March is down there. Damn, I haven't even been through there at all. Gee. Um. Oops. Shadow Fen. What the hell is Shadow Fen? Damn it! Do crime type. What? What's Silas Ivan? What is this thing you speak of? I guess if I just head north, maybe? <clears throat> Pardon me. Stormfist Savage. Sabal. Oh, yes, give me that. Give me that experience. <sighs> Doom. Yep, I'm down for the experience. Oh, wow. Hey! Hello! Happy Puritan! How are you today? I said what? What did I say? I think I need to put more sauce on this next time. Sauce. Well, not really sauce, it's more of a marinade. Marinade. When the monarchy comes up, do you respond by saying Jesus is my only king? No. Because the whole king of the Jews thing was meant to mock Jesus. Oh, okay. It's something fun in Minecraft. Noise. So where do you take it from? Does does Hassan play Minecraft? I I only ever see the clips of the political stuff. I never see like the clips of him actually playing games. I assume that he plays games. Yum. Yum. Jesus spoke more of loving people as brothers and sisters than talking about hierarchical uh, structures. You know? Um, and God throughout the Bible always seemed a little bit iffy about the idea of monarchy anyway. From the start, God was just like, why do you want a fucking monarchy, dudes? Like, that's Old Testament shit. 
So like, it's just like, why? Skywatch. Where the fuck is Skywatch? Okay, we're going to Skywatch. Iridian? What the f- Oh no, Oridon? Why didn't they call it Iridian? Iridian sounds cooler. You should- Bethesda, hire me, so I can just name your- name ship. Put salmon berries in the game. There. Done. I'm your ideas, gal. I'll be your Elon Musk and, and, and take all of the credit for everything. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. You mean Jesus? Shut the fuck up, Donnie. You're out of your element. Wait, really? Really? I thought you were joking. I should know better. That's awesome. That's that's pretty fucking metal, eh? How so, like, how long until the uh, conservative Christians start being scared of Elon Musk as he's trying to put the mark of the devil in people's brains? I mean, he's trying to chip everyone. I think I thought that was, you know, what y'all were scared of. So just saying. I don't know. I just, I just want to, I, I just want to take the conservatives and just like, hey, fight, fight, fight. Curse your son, but inevitable betrayal. That's basically like conservatives in a nutshell. Okay, so, map. Where is it wanting me to go? This place? It wants me to go here? The fuck? Why? Okay. Ow! Owie! Ooh, ooh. Ah. Fucking dominions. I won't kill you all because it's New Life Festival. So, um, Happy Puritan. Merry Xmas. My poor children. I just love that they've been say using Merry Xmas uh, for, um, like, since the 18th century, and the origin of um, calling it Xmas is, like, actually more Christian than calling it Christmas. I just find that funny, that, you know. Well, gar to you too. Mm, gar. Merry Jesus' birth. Yeah, like, the whole celebration of Jesus' birth is like, hella unchristian. If you want to be puritanical about it, shouldn't be, shouldn't be celebrating Christmas. That's all I'm saying. Pagan celebration. That's all I'm saying. Different things, happy holidays or Merry Christmas, uh, right away to, you know, like, I mean, like, happy holidays has been a thing since, like, the 18th, 19th century, I think? 18th or 19th? You rec reclaimed it for the holy. Ah, so you subscribe to the, uh, reformed, uh, capitalistic church. Ah. Oh, I see. Yes. Yes. So, so instead of, um... I, I, instead of living like Jesus and being a beacon of uh, hope to people, you uh, have you have followed uh, Paul in his aim to uh, to uh, colonize and uh, Christianize uh, other faiths, areas, and religions. Yeah, I mean, like the 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 OG the OG like puritanical Christians in America would absolutely agree with you. I'm just being being a, a bish about the whole thing. Whoa, Electrum, what the fuck is that? That looks so cool, what? Pole is holy. I know, I'm just being shit. I know, I know how the whole works. You support the Christianization of Europe. I definitely don't support how it was done. I, I honestly, the fall of the church preceded um, the, the Roman Empire. In my eyes. 
I know that there's people who go. There, there's a whole group of interesting fascists who like um are like major orthodox abus. Quicksilver Paul is better than anyone who talks about theology. Uh imagine supporting the Roman Empire. Like so. I don't know much about orthodoxy, but like, why why is there now like orthodox Christian fascist? Yeah, orthodox Christian fascists. Like, why is that a thing? Why why have they moved to this idea of orthodoxy as the true Christianity? Like, um, they, it seems like they've just created a new word for Western. They can't use um, they can't use uh, what do you call it? The what is it? Judeo Christian values anymore because everyone knows what you're talking about. Um, it just seems like people use aesthetic. Fuck, fuck aesthetic. Seriously, give me a fucking lump of. Give me a lump of um, bloody. Ooh, hello, wolf. Give me your fur. Fuck you. You didn't give me my fur, asshole. Reformed Orthodox Rabbi Bill Clinton. Someone's gonna have to explain that meme to me because I haven't come across that one yet. Is less influenced by liberalism. Yeah, I mean that's again, again, it's all the same as blaming Jewish people for everything. It's, it's hating capitalism but not realizing that they hate capitalism, so they need to come up with like a way to hate on um, something, you know. It doesn't matter what what religion you are you are if you use that to to um to, to support a capitalist system then in my eyes you just are not Christian enough. Soz. It, yeah, but like Happy Puritan, it's not the first time that uh, it's not it's definitely not the first time that white people have appropriated something that is not white in order to. Be a fash, be fash. Let's be honest. Let's be let's be honest. Like, I mean, Christianity from the start, you know, was basically like appropriated from like Jewish people, and and you know, people like people in the Middle East to basically like be used, and then it was basically institutionalized, capital capitalized, and used as a way to um, uh, fight wars against people. Western Europe is East, Western Europe is East Orthodox, Greeks, Roman, uh, Romanians, Russians, Serbs, Macedonians, Bulgars, yeah. I mean, like, it's the sort of stuff where I'm just like... It, it's just like the KK Kangaroo um, talking about how Nick Fuentes apparently can't be white supremacist because he's not white enough. Seriously, that's how, that's how fucking fash-brained these people are. Imagine being so fascist that you won't accept um, Nick Fuentes as a, as a fellow fascist. And you don't need to explain to me why they come to those conclusions. Yes, I know. No, I don't care. It's still fucking stupid. And absolutely fash-brained to just behave like that. Who would behave like that? Oh shit. I'm sorry! Wait, I'm not sorry. You're the fucking. I'm gonna spread it to European. Middle East, Euro, Europeans didn't appropriate it. I guess appropriate was the wrong term. Uh... Institutionalize, I guess, in a certain. in a way. Like, I can't remember what the word is. I can't remember what the word is, sorry. But, like, um, when capitalism basically um, came along and, like, it, it's kind of how, like, voodoo has become commercialized. Yeah, commercialized. It became commercialized and institutionalized is a better word because, you know, like, back then we're looking at um, monarchistic uh, regimes which use Christianity in order to, um, which institutionalized uh, Christianity in, in order to um, impose control upon people. 
so yeah institutionalized um yeah yeah institutionalized is better because we're talking about something which is kind of pre-capitalism in a certain sense capitalism isn't just money exists like it's talking about the way power is structured Sergeant, comrades. fuck off you? you're part of the covenant fuck the covenant wait covenant i can't remember which one's which sorry who knows but i am on my way where, where? I can't even see the. Oh, there it is. That way. Yeah. I have to go. If I made again, it was because of the Islamic conquest. Honestly, honestly, if God is so weak that uh, his people being wiped out will see cause his religion to disappear, then that God is probably not worth following in the first place. You know. I don't know if that sounds blasphemous, but like, I don't know, I have, I guess I just have more faith in my god than other people have in theirs. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is, though, like, expecting everyone to conform to the same views about Christianity is kind of antithetical to, like, having a community of uh, people who are working together to create something. Fine, your deals are the best deals. Whatever. Take my junk. Hey! She touched my junk. It's blasphemous, but mostly erasing the fact that there are Arab Christians still don't raise the, the, their existence. It's called Orientalism. Yeah, well, yeah. Of course there's Arab Christians. Ooh, you touched my tralala. -la. Oh, my ding ding dong. That is the gayest, the most awesomely gay uh, music video I've ever watched. Ooh, or, but like George Michael. Oh, what about I Want to Break Free? Come on, like, ah, oh, no, okay, okay, there are a lot of gay music videos out there. Most video music videos are gay in the most, in the best way. Mahogany! Mahogany! Oh, rough mahogany! And it's exterminated. Oh, no, no. I don't know enough about that. I don't know. Of course I it wouldn't have. I'm just saying that, like, the, the, the fall of the church happened, like, when it was... Be, before, like, you know, it became orthodoxy, in my opinion. Because, like... Fuck. <gasps> it's a fox! You exterminated that ass. That's right. I wonder how you would have reacted, uh, Happy Puritan, to the trolls that I had the other day when I told them that um, my god uh, would bend Allah over um, if Allah tried to uh, send me to hell. Yeah. Oh, we're jumping. We jump. Oh, there it is. Oh, the god will draw. Who the fuck are you? Hey, buddy. Hey, what's up? The god will draw thanks you for the mushrooms, Walker, and wishes you well in your travels. May you and the. I guess that I did a quest for you at some stage, but I don't remember going to. Inshallah, the unholy shall wear the collar of the orthodox. Yeah, I, I, I shall wear no collar because my god is better than yours, and uh, my god will beat up any other god that tries to send me to hell because, like, my god's awesome and wants people to fate to see to uh, receive uh, redemption and not like eternal damnation because he's not a dick. <laughs> my god's not a dick, so uh, they'll 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 bend your god over and like. This one is innocent. Tell the Rukubani. If I can teach your god a thing or two. I honestly, that's a bit intentionally quarrelsome. It is, it is. 
I but like you have to understand these people came in to tell me I was going to burn in hell or like whatever uh, the Muslim version of hell is uh, because I'm transgender and uh, like I, I like making people angry when they're trying to make me angry it's fun I mean like I is if it's blasphemous to call their god a dick for having a hell that they send people to, then I guess I am guilty of being blasphemous. Um, but I refuse to respect anyone's god that doesn't... I don't... I refuse to respect beliefs which um, rely on blaspheming against God's creation. If you have to come up with ways to excuse the things in the, the, the parts of God's creation which completely um, contradict your beliefs, um, yeah, then fucking, how can I have respect for that? Yeah. I don't think, hey, you know, like, again, I'm not here to change minds, I'm here to find like minds. I, I really don't... Oh, someone... There's, there's a quest here. Why, why is there a quest here? What quest is this? Hold on a second. Oh. It's a quest location. Oh, wait, where am I supposed to be going? Which direction? Where... Ah, oh, that direction. Right, so what direction is that? Oh! Oh, I am on my way to the right spot. Alright, cool. Ooh. But what is this? Find the moon singer at the ri okay, 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 okay. Oh. This, how does this sound? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, fucking the whatever. Good there you go. On your way now. Oh, you whatever. Didn't mean to steal shit anyway, so fuck you. I don't know. I just, I, it's not so much that I really care about I making them help. angry, it's more like, um. Company of heroes. Starting with the ultimate, Nurarian the Perfect, who communes among the buried roots of the alien worms. These are the worms, and the worms. What an interesting story. If only I could shake my shadow as easily as could This guy? Does this fucking guy? Anything. Seriously? At least now I know where to With the law, this is Abnar Tharn. Um, this, so this game, Elder Scrolls Online, takes place before all of the other games, I believe, from memory. Um, and if I could murk this motherfucker right now, so many awful things that happen in the games uh, following this one would not happen. It just makes me want to just grab him and... Not like that, but I thought that was funny. <sighs> yes, the but yeah, this the guy's a cunt. The was spelled out in the Moonsinger's story. The verse concerning Nurarian the Perfect. It's as clear as this. An alien ruin. Lo like, seriously, he, like, fucks shit up so bad in Oblivion. And in Arena. He's a recurring bad guy, basically. And I have to work together with him. Asshole. Where am I supposed to go now? I don't think I have any more quests in this location, which is good. Good. I'm heading to my proper quest. Yeah, like, Oblivion is, like, the one game in the series that I've actually 100% completed. Like, one... No, wait, I did Morrowind. I think I did Morrowind as well. Maybe. Maybe not. Charlie Hebdo shit and deliberately de depict the Prophet Muhammad, which is a... Yeah, but, but what, like, there's no fucking point for me to do that. Like, that's that's me just being a being an asshole for the sake of being an asshole. If I call out the fact that I think their god is shit for um, condemning people to a form of hell, then there's actual re there's a theological reason behind me saying that. But me just depicting the like 
Muhammad as a uh, thing, as like a funny picture, like what point would I don't need to do that? It's like me. It's like me using the term black uh, Uncle Tom, you know, to talk about black people. There are so many other ways that I can criticize someone without doing the one thing, which is just a dick move. I mean, like, they f fucking didn't deserve to get shot up for it. Don't do that. Don't, don't do a terrorism um, in response to having your god um, uh, fucking insulted. Uh, that that kind of shows me that um, your belief in, in your god is pretty shit, to be honest. If your god told you to do that, then yeah, again, like, that, that means that, that, that kind of puts me off, like, wanting to say good things about your god. Yeah, like, they should have, they should absolutely have the, everyone should have the freedom to, like, uh, to blaspheme against, um, whatever god they want to. 100%. Like, if your god is just not if your god is is so much of a um like oh look at those they cute die what do you give me guts cute yeah i don't know like there's the, you should have the free like i have the freedom to call people uncle toms i choose not to because i'm not a fucking bitch there is so many other ways that I can use, that I can, there's so many other ways which aren't just being a bitch to, like, m criticize people, well you know? Met, traveler. Well met to you name. too. Go well, away. I don't care about you. You're welcome to warm yourself by my fire. Um, stay a while. Listen. Fucking trying to be, um, what's that guy's name in Diablo? No, can't remember his name. There are some societies where such a freedom isn't possible. Well, yeah. I mean, having the freedom to do something is different from choosing to do something. If you choose to do something shit, then, like, fuck around and find out. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I'm not, like, I'll, I'll, I can criticize both Charlie Hebdo and the people that shot, the, shot them up. Like, don't kill someone for drawing a fucking cartoon. You're fucking dumb. That's dumb. There's worse cartoons out there to, like, be violent over. You know? Oh. Alright. I think I'm in the right spot now. No. Right now. Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm in the right location! Oh, a broadwood. Wait, what? Hey! I think this is it. Yeah. And I'm never gonna fucking say that they had it coming, because nobody has... Ter nobody has a terrorism coming to them. No one has death coming... Well, I mean, we all have death coming to us, but not... No one... It's written in the fucking Bible that, like, leave judgment to God. Like, jeez. Leave judgment to God and, like, try and teach and support people up until, you know, they die. Do that instead. But to kill people over it? Hmm. I think, I think that's already, always a morally wrong decision, even though sometimes death is necessary. To either defend oneself or defend one's country. Yeah, you need to be able. To, you need to be able to affect to um, impose violence upon people in order to have a society. It's just better when you when we all agree on what the violence should be. And uh, have a say over it, like everyone has a say over in in like what what the violence is used against. Things work out better when we have uh, a democratic process for this shit. 
Oh yeah. I'm definitely getting better with this character. This character is definitely working better than it was. Well, the government is a form of social convention. Like, governance is, is what that is. And governance is just the form that, um, that, uh, violence against, uh, certain groups in order to, uh, improve social cohesion exist as. That's, that's what governance is. The direction of violence towards... Uh, people who do not conform to uh, the society. And unfortunately, um, a lot of governments are exist. A lot of governments that we have right now are not democratic in the way that uh, they make these decisions. They have uh, like the veneer of uh, de uh, democracy, but like, do you really think that the democracy that takes place in the w in the West is like? D democracy of the people? No. I mean, the, the, the way that um, money influences uh, government decision-making processes removes the average uh, voter's uh, power over the decisions made in a, country, in, in a country. The people who are in power are influenced by who was funding them. And there's ways to improve on that by being, you know, democratic within the uh, groups that we create in amongst ourselves, and that does improve people's lives, so focus on what you can do rather than, you know, other stuff that um, you can't change. You create groups, those groups have more power than just you. Fucking smashed him down. Goyim. What am I supposed to be doing in here, by the way? Ooh. Ruins. Yes, help woman. And then demand that she sleep with you. That is not the button that I pressed. have any um, lockpicks. Lame. I forgot to pick up lockpicks at the bank. Oh well. If I pick up a lockpick on the way then I'll come back for it. Oh far out. Knocked them all down. Yeah. I'm uh, starting to own with this character. She will then make love to me in the woods while I'm in white linen. Sorry. <laughs> Horny chat. Where you at? Someone sounds like someone's pissing. Got him. 
Apparently. What interest does a Dagon cult have in this place? Flee? Do your worst, Dremora. I'll tell you nothing. I'll squeeze the knowledge out of you. Stop. I forgot how fragile mortals can be. I sense. Yes. You are the mortal I sent for, and not a moment too soon. Good. I attempted to get this Mayrune's Dagon like cultist style. to enlighten me. He refused. I may have insisted a bit too vigorously, but it was his own Let me closer, tiny dancer. What Tony Danza? Technically, an oh. imperial cache lies beyond that concealed doorway. Unfortunately, the entrance has been warded to prevent anyone, including those of my kind, from passing through. How do I shut her ward? Amulet. I went to Greek. Okay, I shall try and do I... all this stuff. How remarkably narrow-minded you What is my definition be? of evil? What is your definition of evil? Um, I, I don't know, it depends the on the, the so no. society, my Do dialectical understanding of it, um, crawl beneath your feet? my individual Our perspective, uh, shaped time. by the society that I, I grew up in suffice. and interact with every day. I saw the Dagonists use magic to temporarily disable the ward. Their power is limited, however, and the ward reasserted itself before I could follow them. Only power akin to the amulet can totally destroy the ward. Huh. Do you assume I am without resources? That I do not have connections in both the Mundus and throughout the plains of Oblivion? I have given you the amulet, and it will do its job. Nothing else matters, little mortal. Would have been evil sorceress or de demon queen kidnapped you to make you her husband, then you were rescued by a strong princess, but you were in very light robes that exposed your body, and when she took me to the friend to consummate her love. Oh, sounds hot. The is deadly to Daedra. As a mortal, you are perfectly immune to any such dangers. The so the ward won't hurt me. As a mortal, you are immune to the harmful effects of the protective ward. As long as it is in place, however, it will prevent either huh. of us from passing through the So world. who's Merrin's Dagon? Merrin's Dagon is a dick. Is one of the Daedric princes. The Lord is the Oblivion. main bad guy in Oblivion. Specifically, he is the prince of destruction. He's a tall tall bald boy. And ambition. Natural disaster concern. I am not cons when a cult devoted Okay, cool. Ooh, lots of books. Oh, nice! These are some good lore books. Damn. Oh, liking this. Getting all the cool stuff. Medium. Oh, medium armor. Oh, you guys bad. Oh, I died. I didn't realize how, like, died I was. I had a dream that you... Have you ever had a dream that you, um, you had, you, 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 you could, you would, you would, 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 could, you could, could, so you, you, you could, could to do, you want, want him to do you so much you could do anything? Yes, I am aware of the tum, of the vine memes. Ah, suckers. Can good him. My 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 favorite is the is the metal remix of that. Oh, I destroyed the protective ward and let the demons in. An annex. Whoa! Okay, so I wasn't expecting that. I want. Oh, I really want that in my house, though. I, if I ever own a house, I am putting secret 
passageways into that house. I am 100% doing that. I sense more wards ahead. Deal with them. I shall wait here. I like you. I don't know what quest this is. What quest is this? A mortal's touch. Oh, okay. Waking flame champion! Yeah, some champion. Ooh, who are these? You did. <clears throat> Vault schematics? I like seeds. I do like how this game is just like... In the lore of the Elder Scrolls, they avoid applying, um, like good and evil to, like, the Daedra. Like, the Daedra do things because they want to. And if you're not dead, it's because, like, they either want something from you, um, or they don't care about you, basically. That's it. If you have- if a Daedric uh, Prince hasn't killed you, it's because they don't want to kill you for some reason, or they just don't care about your existence. Sometimes you can kill a Daedric Prince, but they come back. The problem with Daedric Princes is they keep on trying to, like, merge the Mundus, which is the mortal realm, um, with their particular realm of Oblivion, um, which would, like, you know, kill all of humanity uh, in the process. So, like, obviously you got to keep on... We, 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 we keep on having to stop them from doing that. Also, this was a secret area. How did the people get, get in here? Oh no wait, she said that they like got in somehow. I don't know. I think they got in before with magic magical boards. What are you talking about? You destroyed the wards. I found a scroll bearing the seal of Emperor Leovic. Well Schematics for a vault now, and me. a map of Grant Wood. Goodbye. Let me see them. Hmm. A collection of apparently mundane items. I wonder if there's any way to like surface. But look at this scroll. It not only bears the seal of the last Longhouse Emperor, it has been ensorcelled so that it cannot be unfurled or read. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, no way to speed up the voiceover. Plans from the looks of it, and not the mundane engineering so common to your world. No. Ooh, Daedric. What about the map? Tell me about the map. Marks a location in Grotwood. Okay. Name cool. Take you to Ready? Wait, what? She says something about a portal? What did you say about the portal? I don't I don't wanna do a portal yet. I wanna I need to do the um the rest of the stuff in here. Why did I go back in? Ooh, the Grathood. Is that where I need to go though? I thought I needed to go to Reaper's March. Oh yeah, Grotwood is here. I'm currently in Re Reaper's March, I want to say. Where am I? Where am I right now? I'm in... 
I'm in Tamriel, somewhere in Tamriel. Okay, cool. I'm going back into the Dell. I'll make my way there when I feel like it. I'm doing holiday stuff right now. Wait, what? Wait. What? What the fuck did I get here? What? How? I'm in a completely different delve now. What the hell? Yeah, I'm in a completely different delve. What the fuck happened? Don't... How did that... Or did I? Is this a different fucking delve? This is a different delve! What the fuck? How did I even get here? What the fuck? How did I end up here? I, I was... I was here! I was in Grotwood! I was in Grotwood, I headed up to friggin' here, into Malabal Tor, and I went into the Shale Ruins. No, what the fuck? Game, you just broke my brain. Why did, why did you take me to a different place? Now I have to go through this damn portal. I didn't even finish that delve yet. That's annoying. Oh, well, at least I got the Sky Shard. But that is actually quite irritating to me. I need to get this to get up to like a hundred or like fifty. Wait, where am I? I'm at another delve. If you take me, trust me, Fendil. Magical transport is the only way this many red guard could have appeared here so suddenly. We need to cut them off before an entire army is on our doorstep. I wasn't expecting to go on a side quest. Not gonna lie. One more step and you get narrow in the knee. Hey, you don't look like a cultist. Alright, so like my biggest annoyance about this game and everything post Skyrim, I guess, is that they changed the elf accents to be British and not American. It annoys me. They always had they always had American accents and and then they and, and then they changed it to be like the, you know the awful um oh how they go oi bruv oh yeah oh what you going to do? Like they, they, you, they, they were like the American versions of that before. All right, what, did, what the fuck did you want me to talk about? Damn it all to Hermaeus Mora's nether regions. If you aren't one of the damn cultists, then you aren't one of the. Oh, I'm looking for in people who imperial caches in a hidden annex chamber. Imperial caches? Really? That's funny. I'm trying to get through the cache before cultures find it. Do you know where it's located? Who are you again? What do you mean? I don't care. I don't want to listen to you. Not much. Doom. I heard a few of the cultists mention his name. 
Someone called Doom Doom Slayer. Oh shit, the Doom Slayer. What's all get the wood elves out of here? I'll catch up with you. Fucking hell. The least you could do is do is is get some good voice acting in and and get some like better British. Look who's there. Hey, what's up? Hey, buddy. What's you doing? Hanging out? Oh, bye. Oh, I don't care about the covenant. Wait. From the side. Don't. You want a ca ca Cajun elf? Hells yes. Ooh, hold on. I'm almost out of my drinks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's get some. Let's get that. Let's get that beautiful, wonderful. Oh my gosh. My laugh is just. I need to change my voice character. A Cajun elf. I need I, I I need to hear the Cajun accent again because that 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 one is a hard one to do. It's a hard one to do, the Cajun. I don't know. I can't do it. So I was... I am getting pretty fucking ownage with this character though. I wonder if I can like upgrade it anymore. Ooh, let's have a look and let's have a look. See, oh, that's on five. Waste shrine usage, fall damage. I don't really care about that. Just be careful. <laughs> Crafting inspiration gained by ten percent. Not really important. Yeah, I guess this is it. <laughs> Brooklyn, a Brooklyn door. Oh wait, wait, that, 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 that's not it. Hey, I'm walking here. See, that's my Brooklyn. Hey, I'm walking here. Da, na, na, na. Da, da. What am I doing now? Oh yes, rejuvenation. Defiance. No, 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 fam. It was the best. You, you know, you, you know how awesome I am. Uh huh, uh huh. You put the lugniappy in the po in the pooty. You put it in the poutine. <sighs> what are you talking, boot? Yes, I'm sure. That'll actually not affect anything, but um. Yeah, let's uh, continue on. Why does this feel like exactly the same fucking... Wait, what? Wait, what? This is the same place that I was at... Game... No, this is, this is the delve that I got sent to. This is exactly the same delve, I swear. I'm so, I'm so confused. I know what poutine is, but I don't know what lugniappi is. Lugniappi. Lugniappi? That's how. That's what it's called, isn't it? Die. Yeah, you're not that immortal. I don't think. Oh, I'm back to the beginning. Hey guys. Bye. Wrong way around. <sighs> okay. Ow. Rude. Get wrecked. Scrubs. Yeah, that was uh, pretty friggin' pointless of you to try that. Ooh. Hey, man. Nothing means anything? What are you, a nihilist?
Oh yeah, more warfare points. Give me all the points. Give me all that f tasty, tasty experience. You saw the thing. Hey guys. I like to eat concrete marshmallows. Got him. He did. <laughs> hey, you want to die as well? The answer was yes. Sucks to be you, I guess. <laughs> um. You cannot defeat my spinny attack. Oh, hello. You just came out of nowhere, didn't you? Get wrecked! Yeah, I'll be there soon. I've learned that, like, I end up in the wrong place when I go through doors in this game. Oh, hey, man. What's up? Gosh, it's almost 12. Do I have any uh, lockpicks out? Nope. Cajun shrimp. Throw some, throw some shrimp in the barbie. Ooh, what the fuck's dead? Okay, that's a thing that's uh, existing. Oh hey, Lieutenant Curry, what's up? Oh, ow! Okay, I was not expecting that move. Alright, cool. Asshole. Alright, I'm gonna get another way of that. What the fuck? That's not the button that I pressed! She did. Ah, sucker. All right, we're going back. Oh, what? Throw some shrimp on the barbie. That's what we say in Australia, apparently. That's all right. I'll march right in after them. Got any lockpicks? No? Okay. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna check out these other things. Alright. Oh, yes! Give me all of the knowledge. Wait, why can't I select that one? Ah, this one. Ah! All of the knowledge. Give it all to me! Why is my light armor so high? You need to see this. You, who said that? Sandroach. Ew. Always read the books. I wouldn't mind doing like a full on like start to finish Elder Scrolls like playthrough. That would be fun. But the FOMO of this would like get in the way. But Oh, this is a bigger one. What took you so long? Never mind, never mind. What can I say? Mm, blah blah blah. Desperate. Fucking British people. Oh, Doom Bringer, not Doom Slayer. 
Die. Get rid, scrubs. Chop him. Get rid, scrub. Why can't I do my my my, my spinny? I want to do my spinny attack. Whoa. I just, I just jumped on the guy's head, that's awesome. Yeah, do my spinny! There we go. <laughs> They're all dead now, and I'm alone. I always end up alone in these places, because I kill everyone else. If only a warrior could match my might! Oh my gosh, they're all empty. Lame. Die. How was that? What is that? Oh, they're supposed to be nails. Damn. That texture's bonk. Empty crate, empty crate. Oh my gosh, there's nothing in these things. No, not even any shrimpies. Are you got any, any shrimpies? Give me some shrimpies? A little bit of shrimpy? No shrimpy for the army? No, no, oh no. Hey, scrubs. Good night. Oh, there we go. We've got some pale ale for the barbie. Well, we don't put it on the barbie, but we drink it while we're doing the barbie. Hmm. Oh, hey, man. Bye. Good night. 